Hey. Mm. What do you want for breakfast? Um, I don't know, just, just hold on, just, I, I got it, don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna finish this email. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> my birthday and the first words I said to myself was happy birthday Jen I love you it's the first time I ever done that I highly recommend you do it when it's your birthday it felt really good I am particularly excited about this birthday because I'm giving myself the best present ever seven days without any social media yeah seven days without Instagram Facebook Twitter snapchat YouTube even. The reason I'm doing that is because 70% of my job consists of social media. I'm on it so much in a day that I looked at my screen time and the average time was sickening. I looked at it and it made me want to slap myself and throw up at the same time. Last night after plenty of wine, I created a do not open folder and I dragged all of my social media apps. You might be asking yourself, why not just delete the apps? Well, I could, but I'm terrified to do so. I'm still grabbing my phone to make calls and texts and do all that stuff, but I'm not gonna open those apps. Leo is also doing it in solidarity with me. Captain's log, day one without social media. It's going to be interesting because I almost never post anything anywhere, but I consume a lot. So a week without social media will really make me have to do something with my time. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I will say that first thing this morning, all I wanted to do was grab my phone and open up my notifications and read through everything and answer emails, but I didn't. And then shortly after, when I was making breakfast, I wanted to uh, share the beautiful sizzling pan of bacon, but instead I grabbed a camera and took this lovely photo. Dog 
Alex pause. <laughs> All the things you do when you don't go on social media. <laughs> Alright, we decided to take a little walk, but we had to prepare Oreo. If you don't know, Oreo is a disabled dog, so he needs a little extra gear to be out in the wilderness. Alright, ready for the fashion show? Okay. Yeah. be a little quiet out here because you know it's the getaway so there are other cabins uh, that are a good distance away but we want to be respectful <laughs> but I can't help but laugh at his assless chaps. Yay! <laughs> We're having a little lunch nibble now. In addition to not having social media, I also said I wouldn't work for a week. But I couldn't resist filming this little kind of how-to video on how to build a charcuterie board. We're digging into it now with this gorgeous view this gorgeous dog. I was so tempted to grab my phone and post a little clip of this as a story, but I didn't. I know I'm kind of fulfilling that urge by vlogging it, so I don't know. At least I'm not broadcasting it yet. You can't see it, but I decided not to wear pants. It's only been one day, but I still have the urge to check my phone. But I want to see what everyone's doing. So much FOMO. I'm having FOMO. <sighs> no, I'm lying to myself. I don't really have an urge to check my phone right now. I have an urge to check my phone to see if like my mom and my dad are okay because they're overseas and I'm always paranoid that they need me or something and I'm not attainable. morning. It's the second day of being social media free and I am happy to report that I did not feel the need to check any social media notifications. Well, I have them all turned off so can't check them anyway. I like waking up and looking at just trees, long, tall, tall, looming trees that make you feel so small and insignificant. Hey Oreo. Good morning. What's your social media update? Are you happy to not be constantly refreshing your dog friend's feeds? No? Okay, cool. We just spent the entire day doing nothing. Just looking at trees. You know when people say, uh, just sat and looked at trees. Why does that have a bad connotation? It's an amazing thing to just sit and look at trees. We're going to start a fire now. Got our logs, got our fire starter. Got a Leo. <laughs> Oh, 
Are you the other puppy? Uh, he's blanky. So Jerry and I are having an argument right now. Uh, we don't know yet who is right, but I think that to cook on any pot, like a cast iron or enamel, on a campfire, you have to cook it directly with fire, not coals. Jen says that you're supposed to wait until they're coals, and then you can cook it. Baby I can't feel my hands. We are too cold and too amateurish to cook by campfire. So I think, I mean, look, we're like almost there. <laughs> this just needs another, what, two days? <laughs> I know what to do. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to have desserts before dinner because we can't leave a fire unattended. That I do know. So we're gonna have some s'mores. We'll have dinner eventually. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny to actually be doing this. Jen and I talk, and I talk to Jen all the time that I wanna go out and do all this kind of stuff. I can't even stay out for two hours and we can't even cook our dinner. <laughs> that was an adventure. Uh, instead of cooking our meal outside, I'm finishing off inside. Normally in a situation like that, I would grab my phone and one, post it on my story and ask for suggestions and look it up on Google. I want to do that and Leo didn't want to do that, so that's that. You just, you just gotta figure it out. You just gotta uh, get burned a few times and oh <laughs> my ass is so cold. <laughs> uh, we have a lot to learn if we really want to do this mm -hmm. um, but it was enjoyable you know the whole experience we laughed it off. <laughs> the moment I said I should quit it bore sounds so good right now <laughs> and just call it quits. It's not yeah. bad to call it quits. No it's not. No. We tried and we're gonna try again. Yeah totally. Here we go. It's time to wake up. And just like that, we're packed up and ready to go back home. Uh, I do have to say that this whole experience made not checking my phone a whole lot easier. I do think that when we get back home, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. <sighs> yeah. Home sweet home now. Here brought a little bit of the getaway with us.